Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, everyone saw that it was so good. What was so good? Everyone saw that your heart was so good. It was so good. You know, when I heard this word, yes, it was good. It was good. But suddenly, because of a lot of hearts that have penetrated into that heart, you are finding it difficult to trust. Now, let's start this trust this way. By start trusting yourself. You understand? Because when you don't trust yourself, no, it will be hard for people to even be your tr to trust you. Now, I want to a bit like coach this person. Not that I know that, the, the, that this message, when I heard it, it was good. Everyone saw that it was good. That same thing that they, they said it was so good. It is not the same thing that is being attacked. It is not the same thing that is being attacked, you know. Because this person you are hearing right now, you have lost trust <clears throat> on people, on family, on neighbors because of what you have been through. You have lost trust, you know. Sometimes you don't even trust your process anymore. You know, somebody will say, I just struggle to wake up just for me to wake up. I don't know. I don't know what my life is all about. Yes, child of God, your life will be all about what God says it will be. Hallelujah. I understand how, how this can feel because as I'm speaking this word, I can understand how beautiful it was, how good everyone said you were, how kind. You know, suddenly they just hurt it so deep and you start living another way. Child of God, hear me very well. You have to start building that trust for yourself first. I'm not going to tell you, oh, start to trust again. Just trust me or trust that person. Trust the other person. No, you have to trust God and start trusting yourself. That is number one step that you can use to heal. This person, you need to heal. No matter how you pretend to be strong, you need to heal. You know, many Christians are working with a scar. They are working with scars. But because of how community has seen us, we don't really want to talk about it. I will come to that point where I have to speak on this because we need to heal. It is very important. I remember one of my messages the last time I talked about Christians needs to heal. It is time to heal. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Because your good heart was destroyed. That is why you are finding it difficult to trust again. That is why you are finding it difficult for you to even trust yourself again. You know, the number one step for you to heal now is to just trust God. Just tell God you don't know how God is going to do it, but you know he will do it. Then start trusting yourself. <clears throat> start trusting yourself. You need to trust yourself because as a child of God, child of God, you need to be your number one of I am telling you, if I don't support myself, who will support me? If I don't support myself, who will support me? You understand? Sometimes you have to be the number one, your number one with cheerleader. Is it cheerleader they call it? You have to cheer for yourself before you are talking thinking about oh i cannot trust women i cannot trust men i cannot trust this person i cannot trust you you have to like trust yourself knowing that okay whatever happened you are not going to allow anything to destroy your process in life every child of god has a process so you have to decide that oh no matter the betrayal i will experience i am not going to allow to to stop my process my process is beautiful to me my process is beautiful to me hallelujah glory to jesus so when you are in that process you 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 trust god because when you are in the process of trusting yourself you will not allow what may says concerning your process break you this is where the trust is very important when you are going to do anything trust yourself <clears throat> yeah when you trust yourself no matter the mistrust that will come in that process, you will not be moved. Why? Because you trust yourself. It does not matter who said that what you are doing is not good, as long as God is in it, and you yourself trust the process, and you are holding on to the Lord, you will not be broken. That is number one 
that number one step to trust in yourself. You think trusting yourself is, is not even easy. Because when you trust yourself, people will come to you. Ah, what do you think you are doing? Ah, you are reading the Bible. Ah, you want to go to job. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. A lot of noise will come. A lot of noise will come. But that trust that you have for yourself will help you to overcome all of the noises that will come. This is where it is very important for you to have trust to your, in yourself. Because you tell yourself that uh, no matter how the enemy wants to make my seat uncomfortable, I will not allow them to unseat me. You understand? Because I trust myself. It don't, it's not a bad who does not trust me. It's not a bad who is thinking, oh, how is she living her life? No. It is about God. It is about God. It is about me trusting God. And trusting God in the process. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Many people you see today that have testimony. If they never trusted their own self, child of God, that testimony will not be there. That testimony will not be there. You want to be a minister of God wherever you are. You don't trust yourself. <coughs> you don't trust God. And people will come and tell you. They will call you fake. You will give up. But when you trust God and you trust yourself, you know that you know who you are. When you see some certain things, some certain name that you will be called, you will look at it and say, well, I know who I am. I know the God that calls me. So you need to trust that God and you need to trust yourself. You, are, you want to start up a business that are telling you how ah, the business cannot succeed. You tell, you tell yourself, I know God that I serve, that I trust. And I know my ability to make this business beautiful. So you want to study. Yeah, you cannot study. You don't have the memory. I have the memory. I trust God and I trust the wisdom that he has given to me. Trust yourself. Because if you don't, the community is just messed up. We are living in a messed up community. We are living in a generation that is so messed up right now. So you must build your own trust. I know how it is. I know how it is for you to know that what you have was good, but because of that and all of that, you lose trust. It is not too late. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It is well to Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.